In today's video, I will teach you how to record Google Meet for free, legally. Recordings on Google Meet meetings are only available for paid accounts, but in today's video, I will show you how to record Google Meet meetings for free, and this method is absolutely legal. And it's simple to learn too. In fact, this method has been used by so many live streamers all over the world because not only you will get to record all your Google Meet meetings for free, you will also get to download and learn how to use OBS, a free, safe and widely used software by professionals worldwide. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Steph, I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. As with all of my videos, I usually take more time to explain how things work and not just telling you how to do it because as the saying goes, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. So along the way, I do share tips and real life experiences. So hopefully you can pick up a tip or two along the way and improve your production or improve your workflow. First of all, you will need to download a software called OBS Studio from obsproject.com. Select your computer operating software, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Once you have downloaded the program, open up the software. Make sure your Mac OS is 13, Ventura, or above. And your OBS Studio is the latest version 30 or later. So to check which operating system is your Mac on, click on the Apple icon and select about this Mac. Under Mac OS, you can see the version. Then, go to your OBS Studio and click on OBS and select about OBS. Here you can see which version it's on. So right now we have Mac OS 13 and OBS Studio 30, so we are good to go. So basically, just to explain how it all works, to record your Google Meet meeting, which is web-based, we will need to first record the visual, which we often known as the screen capture, and of course, the audio. A lot of screen recording apps only allow you to record the screen, but not the audio. So we have to record both separately to be able to capture both the visual and the audio. But the latest OBS Studio version 30 allows you to record both video and audio at the same time. So how do we do that? In your OBS Studio, click on the plus icon under Sources and select Mac OS Screen Capture. If you want to rename this source, you can do so too. If not, just click on OK. Because we want to capture our web-based Google Meet meeting, which is on Chrome, select the Window Capture option. Under Window, search for the option that says Google Chrome Meet and your meeting ID at the back. Then, click OK. Here you can see that the screen capture is oversized, so we will have to resize it. So how do we do that? Click on the corner square of the red box and resize it until it fits your black canvas. Under Audio Mixer, you can see there's an audio bar for Mac OS screen capture. Now we are all set to capture both the visual and audio from your Google Meet, but wait! This is only for capturing the meeting audio from the Google Meet web application on Chrome. But it does not capture your own voice, your own audio. So how do we capture your own voice and audio? Again, click on the plus button and select Audio Input Capture. Click on OK. Select your audio device from the drop down here. If you have an external microphone connected to your laptop, you can select that as well. If not, you can just select the laptop's microphone. So to test if everything is working fine, go to your Google Chrome and open up a YouTube that you can play audio. So here I go to one of my videos and I click play. You can see the audio bar moving for the Mac OS screen capture which means that the audio is capturing nicely. Okay, before we start recording, now you need to make sure where your recordings are saved to. Under the controls dock, go to settings and output. Under recording, Click on Browse and you can select where you want to save your recordings. Then you can select your recording quality and recording format. 
The two most popular types of file formats to save in are MKV and MP4. So MKV files take up more disk space, they are higher quality than MP4, and they have the ability to continue recording, which means that if your recording stops halfway due to a crash or error, the recording is saved up to a point of crashing. So that is actually very useful. On the other hand, MP4 files are smaller and easier to handle and more popular as well. For myself, I usually save it as MKV files just to be safe. And once you're done, click on OK. Once you do a last check and make sure that all is good, you can go ahead to start your recording by clicking on Start Recording here. The red record indicator also tells you how long you have been recording for. So there you have it. I hope today's video was easy to understand and you have learned how to record your Google Meet meetings in future if you don't have a paid account. If you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.